one of the things that a lot of people in, in society don't realize is the amount of collaboration and uh, communication that, that is required in science and how much scientists actually talk with one another and knowledge grows through these oral collaborations and, and discussions. It's equal to you know, using scientific literature and that type of thing. But oral presentation and open dialogue about science is a lot of the ways and way, way things get advanced. Synthesis is a, a, a fantastic opportunity for our students to really um, celebrate, I think, the, the um, products of their research um, and their, their learning uh, over the past year. It gives them an opportunity to present findings of uh, research projects that they've been involved in, um, independent studies, independent research, uh, and also for our senior uh, students, it gives them the opportunity to present their final thesis um, kind of results. Um, it's, it's run on the lines, it's run by students, which is, is, is incredible. Um, they get, um, students get the opportunity to organize the symposium, to review papers, to solicit papers, um, to, to select presentations, um, and so they get the experience of, of actually organizing and running a conference. They see what it's like from the background um, areas. And very few students have that opportunity before they get to reach their professional careers. Um, so our students get um, experience with running the conference, but they also get a, a great opportunity to present to each other in the program. So all years are involved, first through fourth years. Um, they get to present to external faculty members, community members, anyone else that cares to join us in this symposium. It's a time for them to I think feel confident uh, about uh, what they've done um, to showcase the results of their, their research over the year um, and it, uh, it's, it's a highlight it's for most of us for the year. A really important part as well within synthesis are our high school workshops and that's something that um, students created and not an idea that we originally had that has knit quite well into what has become the fabric of synthesis and then activity again, what does it mean to organize a workshop and also what does it mean to, to teach and facilitate a workshop. Again, a whole other set of professional skills that are um, given to the students who are engaged in those types of activities. It's really important for undergraduate students to have these opportunities to present their research as kind of the culmination of being involved in the research process. It's not good enough to simply conduct research in a lab, collect your data, analyze your data, and sit on it. It's really important to be able to communicate that information and that knowledge to a broader audience. It's pretty amazing to watch a fourth year student stand up there and present their work that they've been involved in over the last, at least the last year, to an audience and be able to communicate some pretty intricate and complicated scientific ideas to an audience that may not have any um, background in that subject area. So I think the public can gain a great deal from this. Not only would you learn about any discipline within science, and there's a very broad range of um, topics that are covered within synthesis and the research our students are doing, but also an appreciation for the challenge, if you will, of being involved in the research process that I'd like I started off with being able to communicate that knowledge and those experiences to um, a scientific audience but also to a general audience as well.